Hello, Bumpy McSquiggums here, and I am continuing with my Let's Play of Blackguards. A lot of new series happening the last few days, and, well, it's nice to be back to one that, well, isn't so new just yet. Well, okay, it's not new at all, it's quite old, but this is going to be episode 19, and we're going to continue right where we left off, in theory. Alright, so I guess we go to, what is it, Nina? Nina? Nima, Nima, Nuhuma, Nima, Nima, Nitha, there we go. I knew I'd remember eventually, but I remember be able to read it somehow. Alright, to Nitha, and apparently, oh. Right now our party consists of ourselves and Aurelia. But this is from the past, so. Apparently there's a ranting dwarf, and Teacher Drago. And Lysander's Laboratory, which is where we are supposed to be heading. So, I guess we'll talk to the Ranger right Dwarf. Set the tavern on fire. Uh, and I'm certainly going to explain why. What are you staring at, lad? Yes, I'm a dwarf. Uh, is that a problem in your ugly little town? It's an arm. Please move on, Signore. This is none of your business. Well, if you say so. Ah, a former student. Mm. You don't look like you made something out of yourself. Well, Why thank you. Am I not surprised? You always wear a scapegrace. Thought what? the gods did bless you, huh? But eventually, huh. the things that matter are neither beauty, nor strength, nor agility. Agility? You need really? Or proper skills. Agility. You need to hone them, then hone them again, and when that's done, hone them some more every cursed day. Uh huh. And. When all of that fails you, what do you do? You get more agility. And Sorry. I'm certain you still stumble into your duels completely unprepared. Oh, well, I lack How a little many agility. How times did I tell you to get yourself a proper belt? That's do true. Do you really prefer to rummage around for bandages and potions in your backpack in the heat of battle? Can I do that? Belts. Very important. Ooh, I would love to I be see. able to do that. And now mm, you're okay. rambling around with this, this southern swindler. Oh no. This signore, maybe a different thing in regards of sorcery. Fire magic, for example, requires a great courage. Yes, it does. But Thank you. you can't rely on that alone. You need to study, study, study each and every spell. As you say. I keep skills listening. Are overrated anyway. Oh, Sadly, what? That's what those imbeciles prefer. Well, brute force, the easy way out. I like brute force the too. Of our fine art eludes them. Wow. Well, Only some spells require a strong body. That's right. Like the corpo It's what me. Strong body. Is your inner strength? Oh, uh, intelligence, okay. presence, courage, and not agility. Lumpen, like a butcher, mm. I'm sure he's proficient with a lumbering cleaver. But oh. can he handle a bow? You need to train <laughs> each and every weapon. Yes, that is hard work. Very hard work. Extremely hard work, my friend. Extremely hard work. Please continue to enlighten me with your great wisdom. At least tell me you still remember what I taught you about defending yourself. Pointy end no. goes in the enemy? If you <coughs> no. Multiple opponents, you can only parry the one who strikes first. I know that. So, what again is crucial to evade more attacks? Dodge. Leg work. Yeah. Of course, you forgot all that. No, I thought you stood there and they just <sighs> missed. What words are wasted on you? Yeah, they are. Go and find whatever end you may deserve. Well, you're 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 a very uplifting Please fellow. On, I'm sorry, you're a very uplifting fellow. Thank you for your your time and consideration. Well, let's see what kind of monies we have. Oh, look, Aurelia is all decked out, too. What about me? Eh, pseudo decked out, I'll take it. He's right, though. I don't have a belt, and I have no monies to speak of either. Alright, so we're going to roll with what we have and hope it's enough. I don't know, what should I do? Talk to Lysander or go back to the Market Square? Did Eleanor send you? Of course. 
for us. The princess thinks you're in some kind of trouble. <laughs> what else is new? I'm working. Is there any way I can help you? I need chitin. Quite chitin. a lot of it. I thought that was chitin. Are you sure it's not chitin? I'm pretty sure I never heard it pronounced chitin. Chitin? What's that? Insect exoskeletons yeah. are made of it. Its surface is prismatic in the light, like oil. Intriguing. What for? You'll see. But I'd love to know now. Trust, mm. my friend. The ability to withstand the urge to know the truth. Don't you trust me? Oh no. Sounds like candy. I, I don't really think I should trust him, to be 100% honest. But we'll see. But of course. Then off with you. Then off with you. Where can I find the chitin you need? A veritable plague of crypt lice has invaded the cemetery. I'd go myself, but I need to watch my Alembics. Five lice should be enough. All right. Fantastic. Then you have to tell me what's going on. Yeah, you got to go play later. with the lice. Way to say something there, Aurelia. To the cemetery, we must kill the crypt lice. Why would he need the shells of crypt lice? Don't ask me. We must trust him and withstand the urge yeah, to learn the truth. truth. Is that what he said? You were there. It certainly sounds like him. Slay at least five crypt lice. Afterwards, move your party to the stairs at the back end of the battle map. You can highlight those hexes by pressing B. Alright, so let us take a look at around the map. Oh, those are a lot of holy holes. Hmm. I think the wisest course of action will be to start backtracking now. Could be completely wrong though, so keep that in mind. And we will see what the lice of the crypt swarmed master will do. I don't, I don't know if there's a crypt swarm master or anything of that nature, but either way, I'm not gonna linger and let them attack me. However, oh, we have no belt item. Darn it. Alright, so we can put bile on the enemy. And I believe we will do so. Bleh! Delicious. I know, it is tasty. Alright, well, let's burn one of them. Burn! Alright, it's our turn again. As always said, we will keep our backs a tracking. Well, backtracking as it were. And we'll wait for them to make their move and then we will hurt them with lots of magic. Now, that's the plan anyway. Whether it actually comes to fruition or not remains to be seen. Go on. Is that the weak one? It is. Well, I suppose I could spat some small bile on him. <gasps> Should have worked. How did she miss that? I said good day, sir. I definitely saw that coming. Should have worked. So, like a clever person that I am. No, that wasn't enough, huh? Very nice. I figured backtracking would probably put us in an advantageous position. However, I have a small problem at this point, and that is, well, same problem I've been having lately for most things. I am running out of mana rather rapidly. And that is just not cool. Alright, so let's see here. What would be the best way to go about this? Oh, I suppose here and just smack him. Bonk. Alright, so we're gonna take... Oh, wow, that was a massive hit. Well, at least I dodged the rest. Uh, 
Well, there's really much, much has happened with the others. Hmm. What does that do? No, nothing really amazing, so just her normal gunk, as it were. Bonk. Oh, come on, you can't keep missing, dude. Be dodgy. Be nimble. Be agile. Or agile. Yeah, show off that agileness. Agilitivity? I've got nothing. Agiletude. I know, I've run an Instagram just a smidge. Just a scotch. Just a tad. Huh, I really have no items. Hmm. Oh, I'm probably gonna fall here. But, we have defeated a new one. And will we be agile enough to dodge all other attackers? Looks like we will. Alright, so what I think I'm gonna do is have her poke some guys. Oh, very nice, she got him. And have him move away. And throw a heal on himself, because he is not feeling too darn good. He might have that pimpin' mohawk, but he is lacking a little bit in the... Hey, I can beat stuff up department. So, moves Aurelia to the number one stunner, ultimate uh, bad butt fighter. Oh, there we go. That's disgusting. Oh, a little Five bit. Five lice are enough, Lysander said. The things you do for your friends. Indubitably. Oh, hello. Oh, the lice. More keep coming! More keep coming! We must retreat! We have won the battle! We are charismatic heroes. Oh, well, there you have it. Senor? Senor? Leave it to me. Oh, we have, that's right, we have no money. We have no monies. No monies for us. Alright, let's talk to Lysander as he starts smoking his pipe. Down. Now will you tell me what this is all about? The crown of alchemy. The crown of alchemy. Transforming something worthless into something valuable. Sounds there good to me. There is beauty in all that is ugly. Under a magnifying glass, even the most beautiful face will dissolve into a horribly blemished surface. Nice. It's a good thing humans are so blind. Yeah, we are. The truth would destroy us. Here. It is done. A gem? <laughs> More beautiful than a gem. And yet, completely worthless. Creepy. Do you think Eleanor will like it? I like it. Chapter 3. Lysander. Uh oh. What kind of horrible cinematic am I going to see here? Nine guilds share the rulership over Mangbilla. Hmm. They say the Poisoner's Guild is the most respectable among them. This is how very good. That's the most respectable. Boron, the god of the dead, watches over the city. They Those call him good the either. prince of the gods here. Oh. Interesting pants that guy was wearing. Somewhere in this labyrinth I'll find Lysander. And the answers to my questions. Does have a hole in his head? Uh, something's there. Huh. Very interesting. I don't understand. Why aren't you rejoicing? We're free! Ming Billet is ours for the taking! I am rejoicing. We should be on gathering the inside. riches! Or looking for our friend Helia Monterey to avenge Nyam! And the torturer, Lysander's companion. Are you sure he's a disciple of the Dark God? Well, he left us this booklet, The Thirteen Encomia of the Nameless One. A fascinating read. <laughs> You're reading it? Here and there. Uh, by the way, lass, did I tell you how good you look without that mask? 
Good old Zerberon. Alright, let's take a look. Um, what about that name? When Lysander and his torturer were questioning you, they wanted to hear a name. The name of the nameless one, perhaps. I have no idea what Lysander wanted of me, and I don't know anything about a name. Did he tell you anything, Aurelia? No. Blast. I was hoping you knew more than me. Blast. I was hoping you would know more than me. But apparently, and sadly, that is not the case. So, let's see. What do we do now? Why did, Why did you, you flee? flee? What did you have to hide? Lysander has good connections to the Alchemist's guild. My word against his has no weight in this town. The word of a witch, you mean? Hmm. Why did Urias send you to Mingvilla? I was supposed to follow Lysander. Urias thinks he broke into the ancient tomb. The excavation site no one's allowed to enter. Whatever Lysander encountered there, something must have happened to him. Perhaps he's even less innocent of Eleanor's death than he thinks. Or pretends to be. Don't you remember anything? At all? Huh. There's a... The mask is sitting there. She's, uh, she kept it as a souvenir, apparently. I guess that's okay. There was a wolf. There was a wolf. Some kind of madness came over me. I was in Urias's park. I don't know why or to what end. The princess was lying on the ground, not moving. The wolf was hunched over her. I killed it. Then everything went black. Hmm. The servants all agreed that I had killed Princess Eleanor. And the wolf? They all say they didn't see it. Interesting. Lysander is up to something, and I'm sure he has answers. You said you ran into him? In the Bishdaria quarter, near the temple of Hesindi. I oh. meant to confront him, but he seemed to have lost his mind. Surprise! He sent the city guard after me. I tried to get away, but the Monterey's were faster. And before I knew it, I was the latest arena attraction. Yeah, well... In our travels, we encountered a scholar. She told us there were more victims of the same affliction that befell Niam's sister. Apparently, the Temple of Hesinde is looking into the matter. Right. And your alchemist buddy did something to Niam's sister. Then we should start our inquiries at the Temple of Hesinde. Agreed. Let's get going. All right, then. Welcome to Mengbilla. And the first thing we're going to do here in Mengbilla is leave. Surprise! I know, I know. You're a little surprised. I'm a little surprised too. Where in the world was that at? Oh, it's been so long. Um. Oh no, I can't backtrack? Really? Well, that sucks. Alright, well, maybe I'll find what I'm looking for in Mingbella. Because I wanted to go back to the trainer and get my, my train on, but. Apparently. To the Dreamweed Quarter, really? Oh boy. Well, let's Senior. check. Man, they all spell it differently. Let's check uh, this. There's traps and mines and lasers and tasers and asers and all sorts of. Air. I've used that before. I'm sorry, guys. I'll come up with new stuff eventually. I'm still in mourning over losing Niam, by the way. In case y'all were wondering. Alright, so, how about we go to the character sheet? I have a lot of... That's not what I wanted to do, though. Um, that, that is what I wanted to do. I am missing gloves. So how about I put some Gambison gloves on? And there we go. I feel better already. Aurelia, does she have anything? She does, but she seems to be missing some stuffs, too. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. We got a bunch of a bunch of stuff from the, the crazy people that we had to fight. Key for the mask of shame. All right. So she has a dagger. Some. Caftan pants. Alright, so we're gonna have to buy her some stuff, sell some stuff. 
Um, let's see, what was Takate using? He's using a Jajadra Jada. It's a 1d6 plus 4 plus 0. So 5 to 10 piercing damage. And if we can compare that to this thing, because it's a spear as well. It's a 1d6 plus 3, and it's 4 to 9, so it's not as good. Okay. Well, that's fair, at least. Um... Aurelia does not have a belt, so we shall give her one. And a shield. Yeah, so she can use a shield. Good. I need to give her the Gambison. I do apologize. This might take a little bit of time because we did get a tremendous amount of stuff at the end of that last uh, little bit. So, kind of need to deal Senor. with that. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So let us sell these sorty swords. Um, um, no machete. No machete. Mm, we don't want the rinseur. I don't think we need three brigand boots, so we'll just sell one of those. And the slave death seems kind of meh. Uh, that might be comparable to... Yeah, but he's using swords and... Or axes and maces. There we go. And hey, look, we have our load down. Very nice. <coughs> Alright, um... Let's go to the courtesan's quarter. I think that's a good place to start. I'm actually looking for a trainer. Oh, nice. Master Torturer over there. What may the courtesans do for you? Apparently a lot Roger of be nothing. Raja, she's right there. What's you there. Torture? Could you lend a torturer a hand? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Do you need a bone breaker? No. This is a sensitive matter. Oh. I've finally decided to pay my respects to the curia of the courtesans. Huh. The beautiful Kidra Dai Tarif. But I'm up to my neck in work. Interrogations, torture, torture the, the rack. rack. From dawn <laughs> to dusk. Everything is ready. The gift is packed in a box. It just has to be delivered. If that's all. Pretty much. Oh, Although no. my cousin in Thanera has the box at the moment. He's the innkeeper there. If you could pick it up for me and take it to the... That'd be wonderful. I like it. See you soon. Go get stuff and bring it somewhere. One of those quests. I'm still looking for trainers. Keep looking for trainers. Surprise! We have a dyer. We have an alchemist. Oh, please. Not now. I'm having an awful day. What's your problem? May we be of assistance? Oh, gods, I'm waiting for a delivery. Purple snails from Ugh. Albania. They should have been here a long time ago. Maybe you could find out where they are. That would be awfully nice of you. Or even better, just bring me the snails. I'll get you a ship. You'll make it to Aldenia before nightfall. Yeah. You should talk to Captain Daragossa in the thousand and two days. I need the shipment very, very soon. Mm -hmm. You collect... collect Snails. snails? Purple snails. A purple hue can be extracted from them. It can be oh, used as a dye. He does not going to be happy about that. The recipe. It's a secret. That's all See right. you later. Alright, so we have another new random quest. Alchemist. Healing potions, tinctures, poison, tinctures, fire poison. Poison. Yeah, you do. Ooh, she really does. Look at all this stuff. Man, I wish I had like a couple hundred billion... Oh, it's for a whole battle. That's still a pretty cool uh, concept. Now oh, she's got all sorts. Look at this stuff. Did I see glue? Gold glue. That's pretty funny. Oh, some black lotos instead of lotus. I like it. Alright, well, unfortunately, we can hit him with some pomegranate. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the monies for that right now. We're gonna go to the city center, I guess. We really need to find ourselves some trainers, because that's kinda a limiting factor, I'm afraid. Let's go to the arena quarter and just see what's over here. Are there 
Daria, the Smith, the Arena, the City Center. Hey, you! Candidates have to register in the orderly's office. We're looking, We're for, looking a for a teacher. teacher. Yeah, we are. I'm sure I can teach you a thing or two. Yeah. Once you've proven your potential. Really? Are you good enough to hold your own against me and my students? Probably. We're ready. Well, we'll find out, I suppose. Hopefully I have some magic left. I do. I do have magic left. Good. Alright, so we are surrounded on all sides by a bunch of horrible people that want to beat us to death. That seems bad, for those of you scoring at home. Alright, so. I think it would be wise. We now own Aurelia. She is all person, all slave, as it were. We will throw Witch's Bile up in uh, the piece. And then we have Wrath of the Elements. I don't know what that does, but it does sound exciting. What does it do? Apparently it's bashing damage. Ooh, and it knocks down weaker targets. Nice. She has a protection spell. Witch's Spit. That's fantastic and not disturbing in any way. Ooh. Carnifilo's Frenzy. The target goes berserk, attacking the next available target. That sounds like that could be very useful. Sorry, I'm still playing off of uh, the Banner Saga controls, as it were. Oh, what's this? Eclipt Factus's Shadow Force 2. Animates the caster shadow, and the shadow will aid the caster in combat. Ooh. That sounds pretty sick. Ooh, 20. 20 spell. Mm. Alright. Bile onto thee. Oh, bastard. Ow. Hey, stop hitting the witches. Oh man, he's got... Wow. Why does he have no chance of hitting that guy? Boom. Hey, quit it. Stop it. Naram says good day, sir. Or not. Well, this isn't looking good at all. Hmm. Perhaps. Didn't I get a level 2 of that? I thought I did. I just don't think I ever put it on the bar. Oh, I never did. Okay. Well, there you have it. Hmm, well, it didn't seem to do a whole heck of a lot. So we will boost her abilities a little bit. I put her health back up to full. And it's her turn again. Alright, so. We'll try this again. We can knock him down. Oh, yay, spell failure. Dodging and parrying and doing stuff. Ah. Oh. Alright, well, I think I know what needs to happen now at this point. Yeah, we're gonna have to really land her heavy with spells and we're gonna have to save our nukes for her. Because as it stands, we're not doing so super fantastically well right now um, in the other regard. Alright, so we're going to go club him with our stick. He's going to parry. It's kind of expected. Oh, Ouch. Looks like I must use some more of my magic to heal up. 
Alright, so let's see. What do we do now? Well. Hmm. It'll be her turn before. Oh, I'll give it a shot again. Nope, didn't stun him. Down one goes. Oh, she's hanging in there. Absolutely no luck whatsoever when it comes to fighting that other person. Alright, put a little bit of fire up on her. Heal Aurelia up again. Very nice. Alright, so now... Hmm. This thing's... Oh. Oh. Intriguing. Almost cast that. In a good spot. But, unfortunately, I can't. I can't quite cast it in a good spot. Well, still, that is pretty cool. Um... Goes... Yeah, okay. So what we're gonna do is this. Attempt to make him go berserk. Nope, no luck. was an attempt. Let's see. I suppose it's a her. Oh, Aurelia's still in there. Still hanging on. Too bad I knocked this guy down. Yeah! There we go. Alright. Some more fire damage up on her. I'm still relatively healthy. Alright, so what would all I like to do? I think we know the answer. <gasps> More fire damage on her. And we're gonna spit on her, bile on her, whatever. Oh, not quite enough. Shatema! Kalima! Hey, there, Aurelia. Do your dodgy dodge. Kalima! No. Kalima! Yeah. Very nice. Alright, so we'll move over here. Throw the big heel up on her. What? Alright, it's a small heel. Well, regardless, it is a heel, and... Oh, he's getting back up. Alright, well, she is essentially done for, as far as magic. Oh, she finally got that stun that we were looking for all this time. So we poke this guy over top of Narum, because, well, Narum's a midget, and we can do that. Not a midget, I'm a dwarf! Tomato, tomato. All you are right now is not alive. Alright, let's cook that guy. Boom! I'm gonna bonk this guy. He's laying down, so I have a 100% chance to hit. Which is pretty cool. Looks like she does as well. And we should be able to take this guy down. And... Oh, the other guy being incapacitated won us the battle? That's interesting. Sure, we'll take him. That's more things we can sell. I'm gonna say. So, do we that have potential? Looked scary. I think you're worthy. But watch and learn. It worked out. It worked out okay for us. Attack of opportunity. So this is gonna be good for wow. Really good for Narum over here. Like a boss. You can learn this ability at a trainer. 
Alright, so this is perfect for him. Alright, uh, a massive blow that triples the weapon damage. However, the hero who performs the attack forfeits the parry of that same turn. If it's going to triple the attack damage, why would I even sort of care? But I don't have enough courage to use that. Same thing with the lightning blow, or liberating blow. Sorry, I glanced at that and started to look over. Strikes several enemies in adjacent fields, forces them back, and may even knock them to the ground. However, the hero performs this, forfeits the parry. I think those are fine, so we're going to have to pump his courage just a little bit. And then we can get some more armor usage, so I think we're going to do that right there, followed by that, and battle reflexes. The hero shows lightning fast reactions in any, whoop, in any new situation and receives an initiative bonus. Man, I like this trainer lady. She is amazing defensive stance. The hero forfeits the next attack and in return receives an additional parry in the same turn. Hey, we're going we're going all own your face build, okay? We don't need none of that garbage. Uh, talents? Yeah, I want to confirm. Special abilities, special abilities, okay. So we do, we need six teams. Well, I wanted to make sure before I spent the stuff. Now the downside is I'm not going to have enough at this point to get both. But I will take the one for sure. And I am remembering this place and I am coming back here. So very cool. Naram is now much more... Well, you know, Takate could probably learn some stuff there too. I am sorry hey, for you. leaving. Can you teach us what? Let's see, what is Takate's uh, deal? He doesn't use a shield, so shield fighting probably not the best thing for him. He knows dodge one and two, so dodge three would be good. Battle reflexes, definitely want to teach him that one. Does he know? He does know attack of opportunity, I think. Yeah, it appears he knows that one already. Um, maybe armor use? He has these. Okay, so he went this route. Death blow, but he doesn't have blade swarm. But he doesn't need it because it's not a spear talent. Alright, that's fair. Okay, so this is a spear talent tree. Alright. What are these? The hero has an intuitive feel for combat in the current situation. It looks like... I might already have those. Sees an initiative bonus and is also able to dodge attacks of opportunity more easily. He's also got vigilance. Better than the enemy suffer a penalty on attacks. Okay, cool. Blade Dancer. Blade Dancer's body moves through the action. He or she receives an initiative bonus and penalties to parry and dodge resulting from failed special attacks are reduced. Very nice. Alright, so there's really not much that she can teach him, it seems. So I think we're gonna probably max his spear work out at 18. And we can go defensive or we go offensive. And we already know the answer to that, ladies and gentlemen. We want offense. All offense, all the time. Alright, and yes, we're going to confirm that. Unfortunately, Takate is going to have to kind of man up a little bit. And he's just going to have to get stuff like that right there. So what is this, agility? Yes. Boom. Attack, parry, and dodge all went up off of that. Which is very, very cool. Alright, so we're going to check out weapon talents for, you know, regular talents. Body control. He needs 13 for that. Hmm. And willpower. Well, exception. Alright, so we're done. She's not going to teach us anything more. Maybe late. Our two physical adept people, as it were, seem to be quite a bit more powerful than they were before. We're going to check the Dreamweed Quarter.
because it just seems nice. And there is a healer. And it looks like there's a tavern as well. There's a Hilsinde cleric and a captain. Alright. So Welcome we're gonna. To the help you. We're gonna the run to a room. You. you look perfectly healthy. Thank you. Alright, so we're fully healed, we're fully manned. And it looks like we're ready to go. Unfortunately, being ready to go and having time to actually go are two entirely different things. So I do apologize that this episode was a little lacking in combat, but we had a couple. We had a few combats in this one, so it wasn't completely lacking in it. The storyline progressed, and there was a lot of readjusting things, as, you know, we did lose Nyam. Aurelia has joined us, and we had, well, quite a large amount of points stored up, so... Overall, I think it was quite alright. So we're going to end episode 19 right here, guys. And in the next episode, we'll continue, hopefully from this point. And we'll get a little deeper into the story that is Black Odds. Until then, guys, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.